Simon Epa opened up on negotiating with Peter Obi. Top Biafra agitator Simon Epa on Thursday dismissed insinuations that he is negotiating with Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, for the 2023 election. According to Ekpa, he would never compromise separatism for Nigerian politics, bragging that Biafra will come to realization in 2023. And in his words, he says, If anyone told you Simon Ekpa is negotiating with Peter B or anybody, please disregard such nonsense. I am too focused to be distracted with compromising our freedom for a terrorist state like Nigeria. I will be the last person to negotiate anything while Mazanam Rekanu is in DSS dungeon. Let me make it clear in case there are some people that are struggling to negotiate or in case there are some people somewhere struggling to negotiate with someone ever. My negotiations will be at the polling booth of Biafra referendum and if that doesn't happen, the next possible negotiation will be after Biafra break away from Nigeria by 2023, he wrote on his known Twitter handle great i mean it's funny because it's the nigerian media right any opportunity that the media gets to drag biafra in the mud i mean literally ipop could literally just breathe and then oh this is what is happening i mean first of all we cannot i mean, we cannot it's not an understatement to say what this government has done to mazam Kanu is criminal um and obviously there are other it's, it's even too much to count you know the criminal the atrocities that this country you know has as you know um shown towards you know the movement ipop and all that anyways obviously there have also been rumors or like i guess narrative just insinuating that you know what since the whole peter b movement you know i has been very quiet and that is the thing and the problem is obviously with ethnicity and the Igbo, Igbo presidency obviously the mindset is that okay fine you know we're assuming that since biafra is obviously all about you know being separatist maybe what they want is just power but i think they've just come to show that really it's not just having the power if they call nigeria a terrorist state it would be a lot and i think to just to add validity or add um and yeah, I, I, or, or yeah, approval for the. I mean, if they try to change the narrative now, say, by the way, we're not doing Biafra anymore. I mean, it, it would look bad on them, and I don't think they would want that anyway. Um, and obviously, IPOB also has also come out to say that they have nothing to do with Peter Obi. But I think what they would really need just to further push this conversation, or maybe, you know, for IPOB, what is best for them, they should also be interested because really. Yes, you say you're working against a terrorist state like Nigeria, but really the problem is the leaders. And if you are not able to negotiate with them or you are going back and forth with them, or in fact, you have the IPOB is literally fighting a government that can escalate issues. You you have a government that would bring ethnicity, would, would literally abuse power through their security forces, attack, kill, maim, defend terrorists. So now... It's like, okay, fine. In that journey to actualizing Biafra, they, the fact is they've also got to be concerned because they don't want... For this thing to happen, they, they need a government that is already in place that would actually listen to them and can have conversations without thinking that it's a threat of any kind. Because really what they want is a referendum. And if anything, they don't seem to to want to change that then they're, they're not going to change it looks like it but i think when you have a government that sees this group as problematic and sees them and literally at any opportunity that they have to attack the group you know push narratives i mean come on even you know with peter b and you know his son at the time there was this individual in germany and everybody said that this individual is peter b's son because they saw him stepping on or standing on the nigerian flag whilst wearing a, a biafra biafra shirt and of course everyone just ran with that and then there's no proof so i mean in the on the bigger scale you can actually see that you know what this country actually has a thing you know politically historically everything the there is there is tension and there is that divide with the nigerian government specifically and the southeast just in general so obviously that's why it doesn't make sense and it 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 almost looks like or feels like treason especially maybe for you know be uh for ipop to see Igbo leaders 
working with the Nigerian government. I mean, I think, to be honest, the main example that really would come to mind is Joy Bukwe. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And it's like you now have people in the government that are from your region supporting your oppressor on how to oppress you even more. That is different. I mean, that's like a different, like, Stockholm Syndrome, which is, I mean, crazy, right? But really, when it comes to, you know, Simon Ekman negotiating, you know, with Peter B, I mean... Whether negotiations need to happen or not, I feel like just for conversations, converse, just the conversation of, you know, separating, to have it in a healthy way where we are not scared that, oh, you know, the government will send military to the southeast, da 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 da, da. I mean, they're going to make it a war. And I think that it's, it's, a, it's a green flag if people would say, or the, there are narratives that are saying, you know what, with Peter B and IPOP coming down and that, I think it is a good narrative. I think it really is because if you're going to, if the, if they want to still fight against governments or administrations like Buhari's with APC or any other, literally APC or PDP, then it's a problem because I don't think every well-meaning Nigerian would want a government that does not listen, not just listen or or like exclude certain topics, but just listening in general and. If it if it happens that you have to listen to this, you know, um, region of people, then they're going to have to listen. It's it's literally that simple. But if you have a government that can escalate issues, this government has shown multiple times that they don't know how to fix issues. What they do, they amplify. It is a problem. Okay, first, um. A commentary states, Ekwa is a mumu boy. If he likes his people, he can't continue to preach, sit at home. His people are now impoverished because of that singular order and he has refused to call his killer boys to order. He's a fake evil man, I guess, because he will like making money and not stay without making money. Oh, really? It's just one day. And to be fair, and they've been consistent with it. At the end of the day, for a group, for, for a movement, you need to have your followers. And if they have a very large following, there's really nothing that you can do. But if it happens that the large following... Because now we have to now understand what... Apart from the leaders of IPOB wanting to separate from Nigeria, which I personally feel like they have a right to. I mean, given the history, what they, they have a right to. But if you now look at the followers, because they, you are nothing without your followers or the... the People, they are the ones that push your movement, right? So, if this individual just wants a better Nigeria, and really the reason for supporting Biafra is frustrations of the Nigerian state, and they've seen that you know what, because they also have to vote, they have a right to vote, except you have a region in the southeast that's not going to vote, which is impossible. But really, the movement could actually, you know, diminish. Why? Because a lot of the people, maybe all they just want is a better Nigeria. And any option that would come apart from Nigeria just to live better, they'd go for it. So maybe that's really what it is. And potentially you could have, you know, the agitation from Biafra actually calm down and be less intense. And we would actually have more of a conversation rather than conflict with this group and the government. It's just too intense and no one is that kind of drama, please. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.